Hey, it's Annie, and today, I zoomed you in really close. Hopefully I can keep this towel on my head. I'm gonna do uh, a full makeup face look using, and I'm just putting my sunscreen on, my mineral sunscreen from um, Australian Gold. I'm gonna link everything below in the, um, the show more, so make sure you check show more. But that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna do a full makeup look using uh, well, I shouldn't say full makeup. I'm going to be using a new foundation, primer, and eyes. Yeah, I have more things coming in, but I just thought I would do this today. I hope this, I hope this towel doesn't give me a headache. I might have to take up and put my headband on, but then my hair's going to dry. Oh, Tabitha. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button below. I share a new video Monday through Friday. And also click on that bell because anytime I share a new video, you'll be notified. So, um, let's get into this. I don't know, I'm sort of nervous today because I don't know how it's gonna work out. Oh my gosh, I hope this is gonna work out of my head. I just feel like it's really heavy today. I don't know why. Um, I am gonna try this new, new to me primer from Hourglass. It's the Veil Primer. So I'm gonna put that on first. I already put my sunscreen on. What you want, Tabby? My kitty's around here. What you want? I'm trying to pump it out. There we go, ooh, it's like, a little bit. Okay, it's white, it's very light, very light feeling. It has a silicone feel to it, but that might be good for my skin right now. So I'm going through that. Ooh, that feels really silky on my skin. Um, Let's go in with the foundation too. The foundation, let me show you the, um, bless you. Hopefully you don't focus in. So I'm gonna shake up the foundation. This is Clinique's Acne Solutions BB Cream in Light. Okay, we're just gonna take the towel off because it's just irritating me. I'm having a menopausal moment. All right, so um, I am using this Clinique foundation, and the reason that I wanted to use it is because of my, oh my God, it's so watery, is because of my sebaceous hyperplasia. But let me tell you, you know what it reminds me of? I want to see if this is going to be drying to my skin because it may not, this might not work for me. Um, it reminds me of when Clinique, like years ago when I was in high school and I first started using Clinique, they had a foundation that was similar to this. It wasn't called a BB cream, but it was a clear, I remember it was clear and I think it was plastic. It was clear. And when you looked at it, it almost looked like the foundation settled to the bottom, but it had the same smell, kind of like it has an alcohol scent to it, so I don't know that that's a good thing, but it has benzoyl peroxide in it, and that's the reason I wanted to try it. It looks nice on my skin. It looks pretty good on my skin, actually. The color looks great. So we'll see how this works. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. This probably wouldn't be something I would use every day. Um, I still love my osmosis, but this is really nice. I'll have to see how this lasts throughout the day. I am not gonna do a check-in today. Check-ins are very hard for me to do. One, because of time, and two, because of the lighting. I can't do a check-in if I don't have good lighting. And it's already after 10 o'clock in the morning, so I know I have a crazy busy day. All right, so as far as the way it looks right now, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. It's not gonna be a full coverage, but I feel like my skin's getting so much better. I don't really need a full coverage anymore, you know? So I'm gonna take my shape tape. Now that's not something that I just got. Um, I'll have to try some other concealers though. So I'm just gonna blend this into my uh, under eye. I'm feeling like lately, I don't have to use as much concealer under my eyes. It's really weird. I really don't. So I just take the shape tape and I just kind of move it towards my my eye and I feel like just doing that. Gosh, I hope I'm not washed out. This lighting is so, it's so hard. Let me turn this down a little bit. Is that a little bit better? I feel like that's a little bit better. Um, I feel like I don't need as much concealer lately. It's weird. And I have to be really careful because of my um, Retin-A. 
right so I don't look like I have crepey under eyes. I always have to go in with a concealer and I'm just using my little sample size of my Kat Von D concealer. That stuff lasts forever. I love it. But I always have like a little bit of redness. I have a little bit right there too on my forehead. Doesn't look like it on camera, I don't think, but I can see it in person. So first impression right now, I like the foundation because it's not heavy, but we'll see how it is as it lasts on my face, you know? But I just thought maybe it would be a good thing. I'm sorry, I'm sniffling. When I press on my nose, it's making me sniffle. Um, and I don't have to, like, my pores are so much better now. Like, they're smaller now. It is unbelievable. Okay, I have to use my ear brush from Charlotte Tilbury. You know how much I love this. I recently tried a drugstore option and I hated it. So, I have to use this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just so nice. And it doesn't, like, settle in my fine lines. It doesn't look like I have powder. I'm, I'm telling you, this is worth, it's worth it. You have to, you have to try it. This doesn't have any scent at all, which is surprising for Chanel. See, I usually like to pat my um, bronzer on. I like to pat it on. I don't always rub it in. Sometimes I just like to pat it in there. I need to clean this brush really bad. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia and do my highlighter, or should I use my, let's go all new. I've already used this, but let's do it again from um, MAC. This is so pretty. My kitty's in here, so if you hear sneezing, it's her. What's up, honey? Here's my, here's my brush. What's up? What's up? She's like, who are you talking to? I don't want to pick her up because I'm putting makeup on. Oh, this is, I really love this. It's so pretty and it's really, it's really subtle. It's supposed to be all over, but I use it as highlighter. Um, and what is the color on this one? This one is the Happy Go Dazzling. I love it. I love the packaging. I love the product. I think it's pretty. Of course, it's limited edition. What are you doing? That's, she's sitting where, what are you doing? She's sitting on a foam cardboard that I take my um, my flat shots for Instagram. And it's just making a funky sound. It must be her claws. Is it time to trim your claws, girl? Huh? Is it time? I'm going to go in with my flower child. And I'm going to brush that on my cheeks. This is such a pretty color. I love it. I don't have a ton of blushes. I don't know. I just don't buy too many because I just feel like they last so long and I don't know. Maybe I'll try some new ones. Um, okay, so we're going to go in with this bad girl. Love it. I've been dying to try this. So I think what I'm going to do for fun, even though it's daytime, I'm going to do something really fun. I'm going to do like a little bit of a daytime look, but then I'm going to turn it into an evening look, okay? That's what we're gonna do today. This will be fun. I'm just hanging out and I'm just playing around with this makeup. The colors in here, seriously, you guys? Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh my gosh. Wow, I did not expect that. That is some color payoff from such a light color. So I went in with, where is my magnifying glass? I just went in with musk right here. Look at that. Usually I don't get, and I'm just, I'm not like digging my brush in. I never do that unless it's really, if you're using like a cheap palette, then sometimes you have to go like this in there. This is not one of those palettes. I just go boop, boop, tap, tap, and holy cow, it grabs onto my brush. So that's my transition color. It is, um, does have some powder to it, but I don't know, most do. Would you please? All right, you're being really loud. You gotta tone it down a little bit, honey. I'm recording. Always I have to get you out of here. I don't wanna do that. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my, I always like to go in with a different brush and just blend it a little bit more because I just like to blend it. Tabby, seriously, you're killing me. Um, I'm gonna go in with, oh man, I'm gonna go in with Eden, which is this color right here. Eden, you can see my camera. Yeah, I'm gonna go right on top of that. Oh my gosh, so freaking pretty. I have some other, I swear it's not me, it's my cat. Uh, I have some other really fun colors that are coming in and I cannot wait for you guys to see them. I get my magnifying glass. Oh my God, these colors are unbelievable. What color do I want to go in with next? Oh, let's go in with O-U-D. And by the way, I think I said her name wrong. I think it's pronounced Uda, not not Huda. Uda is how you pronounce it, so I apologize. I'm sure I say Anastasia's name wrong, right? Is it Anastasia? I always say Anastasia, but I think it's Anastasia. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but be nice, okay? I don't know if I'm saying that. Maybe I'm not saying that completely right. I don't know. So I'm just going in with my E45 brush from Sigma and I'm blending it right on the end. Bring it in the corner and then up. And then I take my blending brush and I blend it up. So I'm gonna do sort of not as deep of a color. And then I'm gonna go in and deepen it up a little bit more. So I think before I get all of my mascara and everything, I'm just gonna just kind of kick it up a notch. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. Oh, okay. And I am going to grab the color Blood Moon, which is this one right here, Blood Moon. Oh my God. What? Okay, I didn't expect it to be this intense, so we might just be doing an evening look. What the what? What? Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I need a mirror so I can see a little closer. I need a close, I have a mirror here, but I need, oh my, are you kidding me? Are you even, are you even kidding me? Holy. Holy, oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous. What the, oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding me. That is freaking beautiful. It looks like a foiled eyeshadow. I'm gonna tell you, I haven't watched any reviews on this, so I'm like seeing this for the first time. I try not to watch everybody's reviews on things because I like to form my own opinion. Sometimes I do, but I don't always watch reviews. And I did—I haven't seen any looks or anything on this. I mean, I've seen, I shouldn't say I haven't seen looks, that's a lie. I've seen looks on Instagram, but I mean, I haven't watched a video and, and watched a look. I haven't done that. I haven't watched a review or a look. Um, I've seen a, some photos on Instagram of eye looks, but holy crap, wow. That's intense, man. That is just gorgeous. That is just, wow. Okay, I need to go a little closer here so I can make sure. I just wanna make sure I'm blending it. I'm just taking my brush and patting it and I'm holding it this way, especially by the crease. I don't wanna go past my crease there. And I'm bringing it close to the edge there, but I don't wanna blend it in with that. Holy, wow. Wow, that is just unbelievable. Okay, I didn't want to go that intense, but you know what? We're already there, so we're just going to go full. We're just going to go for it, okay? So let me do a little bit more on the end because this is not where I wanted it to go. We're just going to make it into evening because I didn't expect that. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go back in. What's that, honey? I'm going to go a little bit darker on the corner here, a little bit. Wow. 
That's just amazing. Okay. Because I didn't know that that was going to be so intense. Holy cow. I'm just going to make sure I blend it. I don't want to get my brush on that foil look. We don't want to blend that. We just want to blend around it. She's getting really sassy. What are you doing? She's getting sassy. She, she doesn't like them when I don't give her attention that she gets really sassy. Be nice. Be nice, girl. Don't get into mischief. Oh my gosh, this color is just, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. I would totally do this for New Year's Eve or something. Why not? I don't really care if it seems like it's too dark. You know what I mean? It's makeup. It's just makeup. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to go in with my OUD, that brown color there again, and I'm just taking my um, It Cosmetics. Oh my god, these colors are just unbelievable. They are really pigmented, guys. Holy. Wow. I'm glad I picked this up at the sale. That is so freaking pretty. So now I'm going to take my smudge brush and I just want to blend it out and bring it down. I have some fun eye looks I'm going to be working on. I have some fun stuff coming up really soon. I just can't wait to show you. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Doing this backwards, I'm not going to finish my eye because my lips are parched and I need some lip stuff on. And I need a sippy sippy. Yes. As um, Swamp Girl would say, sippy sippy. Ooh. I love these LaCroix. So tasty. There's no sugar. There's no sodium. There's no calories in it. I usually just try to drink regular water, but sometimes I have a taste for something else and that's like really good because you're not being bad. I may do my eyebrows off camera, I don't know. So what do I think about those eyeshadows? I, I like them. I like them a lot. They are amazing. Can you see if I zoom in here? Just gonna go right. That should be interesting. Do my liner up there. This takes a lot of practice. I know some of you were saying, I don't know how you do it. I've just been, I've just been doing it so long. It's like, it's like nothing. You know what I mean? Right. So now I need to line my upper lash. And for that, I'm using my Physicians Formula. Start right at the corner. And just work it. Work it, girl. I'm just going to do this as quickly as I can. This is so hard to do on camera because it takes a while. So I may just cut out here and um, I may just cut out here finish my eyebrows, do my mascara, do my hair, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is it. This is my final look. I think it is really, really pretty. That is it. Let me show you my outfit too really quick because you probably think I'm wearing a bathrobe. This is not a bathrobe. I'm going to show you this. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that it was helpful and informative. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will see you real soon. Bye.